how many dominant singular value you have. That's basically uh, the dimension of the tangent space. Okay, and then the local approximate vote can be say if the really n-dimensional, so which means that all the later coordinates can be expressed again using least square fitting as a function of the first n, and then your function will be originally just depend on x1, xn, xn plus 1 to xd, but because of these things, it's really a function of the first n variable, and only depend on the true dimension, not the uh, co-dimension or anything like that. Okay, you still can find local metric only in this true, the, 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 the tangent space for the uh, true dimension. With the true dimension. Okay, so here, uh, we are not just solving the class but Tommy, we can solve nonlinear reaction diffusion equation on where well, we're showing on a sphere but actually only point clouds are involved. With diffusion on bunny, so the heat source is here, different time, you see that heat is diffused from one bunny air to no other. We can do conformal mapping for point clouds based on uh, the LB operator minimizing the energy because you are really minimizing the harmonic energy when you do this. Uh, you can construct skeleton for point clouds. This is basically, uh, you find the eigenfunction, non, first non-triple, and try to find the biocentric level set, uh, biocentrism of level set, okay? So these little circles, circular things, is the level set of the first non-triple eigenfunction, and that's biocentric. Connect the bicentric center it got the skeleton. Uh, you can find in well, this is showing our performance versus point cloud. Uh, this is I think this is by Belkin, Sun and Wang. Okay, this is our moving least square. This is a finite element. Okay, and this is local match. We also later demand local match. You can see. Moving least square and uh, local mesh method is roughly behave similarly. And the finite element is, oh, in this case, okay. So in this case, finite element method and local mesh method. And this is our moving least square method. And this is the point cloud. This is the, the conversion is slowest. Okay. This is for uniform, quite uniform. Uh, uh, this is, okay, now uniform sample data. This is the uniform, this is for non-uniform sample. Okay. Is it why the finite element is not shown here? Because uh, the triangulation through the non-uniform point cloud, even you cannot uh, find a stable uh, finite element method to solve it. Okay. For ours, we don't depend on the triangulation of the point cloud. Time. So this is, we saw the eigenvalue problems on different shapes, even on open surfaces, that's fine. Okay. We can also compute in geodesic distance on point cloud. Uh, so here, basically si satisfy the iconal equation. Okay. So for solving iconal equation, So the most important thing, this is a nonlinear equation. It just says the norm of the gradient with this matrix of this is 1. Okay, so you want to find this is a distance function, which is something like this. Uh, the most important thing is you need to find a upwind to monotone scheme. Then you can use fast marching or fast working to do that. And that scheme is basically the following things. At every point, okay, this is not necessarily flat, but the flat would be the same, easier. So you have the first ring triangle, uh, first ring of triangulation. Okay, so what's the different discretization means? The discretization means if I know the values, 
at this neighboring point, what would be the value here? So another way that this quantization is nothing, the value at this point should be a function of your neighboring point. Okay. Under the piecewise linear approximation, okay, and also locally you assume the uh, it's flat, then it's all related to the optimal control. Is saying, okay, if I know the value here, I can do linear interpolation to get the boundary value here. Okay? <coughs> so basically, by doing linear interpolation of this nodal point, I have the value here. Then the cost to here is the cost, the value of this plus traveling cost of this edge. You try all possible ways. Always straight line because this is a convex problem uh, and it's local homogeneous. You know the optimal path always straight. So you're just trying to say, okay, given the value, starting a point here, you find a straight line, you calculate how much it costs to travel here, adding here. That is uh, one cost, and you minimize among all the possible straight lines. Okay? Because the value here depend on this nodal point, right? And this is explicitly calculated by knowing this triangulation. So that's the scheme. Once you have this monotone scheme, you can uh, using these fast things, because it's a still coupled system, the differences between this and the elliptic equation is uh, uh, hyperbolic equation has causality, information propagate. Basically, they are one line that gives you the minimum. So your information always coming to your really, so if this is the, per, the, the optimal pass, optimal control pass, so your value here only depends on these two values. If you trace all the way back, this is basically you find like tracing the characteristic back, you can divide very efficient way to utilize this kind of causality relation. So here I show you how you compute uh, distance function. Again, this, yeah, so this is geodesic. Once you, 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 okay, you find the distance view to this point, you can do an ODE solver to trace back to find it from the geodesic from any point to other point. Is okay? No, you Not 50 minutes yet. Close. Okay, so this is what we're trying to show.